Hey, I'm Christian Engbom, and uh, I'm from Finland, and I just finished filming at the table lecture. And then take the, a packet from the top, yeah, and mix that too. Look and choose a card that you like, and then remove it from those cards and give me the rest. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and show it to the camera. Got it? Got it. Okay, yes. and stick it back inside, don't forget the card, and square, complete, cut and complete. Okay. Yeah, Complete. it's good. It's good. All right, let's try. 29. Your card okay. should be the 29th card from the top. 5, 26, 27, 28, 29. What was the card? It's Queen of Hearts. No. Ah! Show him. <laughs> yes! Gotcha. Where I talk about card magic, theory, effects, thoughts. I can use just a few cards. So. I'm just going to use a couple. The deck, we don't use. And I'm going to shuffle them exactly like the deck. A blue, and on top of it a red. And again, not the faces, but the backs. So a blue, on top of it a red, and a blue, and on top of it a red. And I have to do nothing. Nothing! Oh, come on. <laughs> because the red back cards, they weigh more, and they just sort of trinkle down to the bottom. I'll shuffle the reds, well, the blue, with the reds, yeah? So a red, a blue, and a red. And I have to do nothing! <laughs> because the red back cards, they... I have to do something. <laughs> I, I forgot one thing. I, I have to do something. Uh, can you hold your hand like this? Can you squeeze the packet? But let me square it first, yeah? Squeeze it tight, tight, tight. Yeah, really tight, really tight. Don't let go. Whatever you do, don't let go. Hold tight. Really tight. Tight, tight, tight. I mean, really tight. Don't make it easy for me to cheat. I just want you to see <laughs> that it heck? works not only in my hand, but in yours. You can show them. Remember the deck? Yes. I think we waited long enough to have all of the reds flow down to the bottom and all the blues come uh. to the top exactly the same. And just plain old, what makes our magic stronger? Follow the red card. It's quite easy, right? But it becomes more difficult as I, as I toss and shuffle. Where did it go? Where did it go? Nobody knows. This one. Well, yes, but you're a magician, right? Crap. <laughs> oh, okay. That's insane. <laughs> follow. Now you know all my secrets, right? So follow the ace. Where is it, Avery? Where is it? In the middle. All right, but you were lucky. This time you were lucky. We'll do it again. Is it ready? For all of the marbles. Where is it? In the really? You'd put your, your money on the middle? Ah, uh, well, no. Dun, dun. Uh, uh, and I'll show all of the cards before I mark the winning card in such a fashion that even if you were blind, you can trust me not to change it or switch it out. And then he would shuffle the cards. I can't again do it with one hand, but would mix them up and lay them out to the table. Where is the winning card now? Uh, Where is the ace? Let's be clear. The ace is the winning card because people think, is it the ace? Of course it's the ace. For all the it, marbles. Is it in the middle? No. No. Crap. I'm sorry. When you bet your money on this card you would lose, uh, he would just laughingly show you that that's a joke. Uh, so that the ace is over here and that... And crap. That's the game. Yeah, I know. It's, it's good. Well, yeah, that, that, that obviously that was for me the most magical moment because... That what? corner was as black as the corner as this. And I'd really love for you guys to join me at the table lecture by Christian Engel.